um, you know, the relationship that uh, this country and the United Kingdom has had over years, over years, many years. So we're very grateful for, for that. We want to express that, um, uh, you know, gratitude and that you can pass it on to uh, the British government, uh, the sitting British government. We know government is, uh, is, is, is something that I may call a continuing machine. It's, 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 it's got legacy of the past, the present, the future. So please pass that uh, message to Prime Minister Boris Johnson. And also to state that um, we know that our relations have um, been sustained because of mutual respect, respecting each other, respecting governments, but more important, the people, the British people and the Zambian people, who themselves have an integral relationship over years, colonial history, but also <laughs> studied, like myself and, uh, and many others. You see on this table, almost all of us have had a stint um, out in the UK. So it's, it's very important that people-to-people uh, -people relationships um, you know, continue and for us to maintain this important relationship, regular interaction like this becomes very important with official government ministries or uh, personnel, different levels. It all adds up, uh, Prime Minister, so we're very grateful for that. So we want to reaffirm our commitment to working with the British government, um, to working with the British people um, in different uh, uh, aspects of, of, of life. So, so that you can take from us and that this country uh, wants to do things differently. This government, this, I call it leadership for service. This leadership for service wants to do things differently, to interact and to work with countries in the region, countries globally, primarily anchored on an economic platform, trade and investment. Because that's what will change the well-being of our people. That's what will offer opportunities for jobs, to our youth, who put us in office, to our women, rural women included, for clean water. That's what will make our people have job, not just job, but self-employment, if I may say so. Business opportunities. It is trade and investment. It's an economic road platform we want our relationships to be built on. And we understand your institute is doing good work. Bradford and I visited your institute sometime <laughs> in the UK and uh, you were, I think, out traveling at the time. So we had a good conversation. So we'd like to see if there's something we can do uh, in our quest to make the lives of the people of Zambia better. As Prime Minister, you did many things well. But as you left office, I think you picked a lot more things on how things can be done better. We want to avoid reinventing the wheel here. We want to learn from the things you did better, the things that are done better in other countries, so we can accelerate the benefits which we deliver or intend to deliver to our people. So that's important to us, but also because in your institute now you are interacting with various governments, lots of changes that have taken place in the world, global issues, uh, I mean climate issues, global climate issues, the importance of making sure that we run what we run, business we run in an environmentally acceptable way so we can support the generations of the future, even before they are born. The issues of technology, I'm sure you've seen a lot, so we'd like to benefit from that. The coronavirus pandemic is ravaging us and does not recognize any boundaries. No boundary at all. We want to vaccinate our people with limitations, vaccines, access to cost of vaccines. But if you vaccinate your people in the UK and elsewhere, we don't, we can assure you, we become host for mutations and it will come and bite you later. So I think let's take this subject as one that, um, you know, is, is a global, global subject. And we're grateful to the British government for its support on COVAX and others so far, but we'd like to see more support from there. We're not running a begging bowl. We are running to do things to contain a pandemic. And a pandemic is a pandemic in that sense. So thank you very much. I shouldn't say more. What I suggest we do, subject to you saying a few things or as you wish. Um